Today's the first day. It's happening. Woo! Good morning, today is the first day. <laughs> so I am walking over to the building where all the stuff is happening and I'm going to be getting my faculty of medicine photo. So this is kind of like my ID photo that is gonna be used for the next four years. No pressure to look good or anything, it's fine. Anyways. I survived the first day of orientation week. Woohoo! Um, yeah, so huh, it was a very long day. We started, I started at about 7.45 because I needed to get a photo taken and then lectures, lectures started at 8, went till 5 o'clock and it was just sort of welcome messages, um, electrode confidentiality. Yeah, and then after that, we went to a pub. All of the med students went to a pub on campus just to sort of eat, drink, and get to know each other. There are a lot of people. There's 288 people in my program. I don't know how many I met, maybe like 20? Um, yeah, so it seems like a really, really positive group of people. Um, after spending one night in the apartment, I realized I don't even have bread. So I am going to head to the store and I will check in with you later. Well, I'm not sure how I'm going to carry all this back to the apartment. Well, that was my first time grocery shopping. Good morning. Today is Tuesday and I stay two of med school. Yay! It is day two of lectures and I'm walking back to the apartment to get a sweater because it's kind of cold in the lecture theater. Anyways, so far we have just had a few lectures, one on library orientation, another one on how to use Entrata, so the forum where course material is posted, and then one on social accountability. First dissection. So day two is complete. I survived. It was just more sort of lecture style orientation things. And then just right now I've been exploring campus, trying to get a few things off of my to-do list. Hello, so I have survived my third day of medical school. Today we actually started working on academic material, so we did like introduction to cells, cell function, cell communication, membrane potential, and then we had our first anatomy lab. Alrighty, so here's a little update. It's been a couple hours, so went home, showered, did some laundry, and then I just went to the bookstore and bought my first anatomy atlas. So I bought the Gray's Atlas of Anatomy. So today I did my very first cadaver dissection. Whew. It, yeah, it's kind of crazy. So I have had some time to sort of reflect, contemplate, and think about it because I did sort of want to talk about this in my vlog. Um, just because I think not a lot of people know about it and there's perhaps a lot of taboo about 
dissecting dead bodies. I was very intimidated about the experience prior to going in, but once we got into it, it was just so interesting and amazing. I am relieved that I wasn't grossed out or squeamish or fainting during this first dissection. It was a dissection of the back, so we went down the spine, opened it up, and looked at the muscles inside. So I'm really looking forward to this, and the muscles that we looked at, seeing them there um, on a real person made them so much more memorable than looking at them in a textbook. So I am so grateful to anyone that donates their bodies to medicine, and I am especially thankful to the people that donated to our lab because this is a huge learning experience and I hope that I can just respect that by being the best learner possible and accumulating as much knowledge as I can to hopefully one day be a doc. Hello, it is Thursday morning. I am back at the apartment. It is 10 a.m. And the reason why I'm not at school <laughs> is because we just had a test and I finished two hours early. Um, it was 150 questions and we were given three hours. And the test is called a progress test. So basically they test us on stuff that we should know by the time we're finished fourth year. And we get the test every year and hopefully <laughs> we see progress. Anyways, I clicked the I don't know option for basically every single question. Yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> um, it was kind of cool reading the questions and things just to see like all the stuff we're gonna learn and know after four years, it's kind of crazy. But as of right now, even just reading like the options A through D, there were words that I had never even seen before. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out at home for a bit and then head back to class at 1 p.m. Anyways, I'm heading out to a faculty mixer wine and cheese event. It is apparently business casual. I have no idea what that sort of means. So this is what I opted for. I'm wearing like business style pants with a heel and then a casual like wool knit shirt. It's got like a button detail and then just this jacket. So I'm back from the wine and cheese event. It was really fun. Um, I actually got to meet a lot of people and chat with more people than I was expecting. I had only planned to go sort of for an hour, but I stayed there for the entire time. As a consequence, I am now exhausted. Not gonna get anything done tonight. But it was really great just to connect with more people in my program. Is snack time. Oh boy. So it's Friday, current time is 7 p.m. We had nine lectures today. Nine lectures. Uh, we started at 8, went till 5, and during our lunch there was like a guest speaker lecture about adventures in medicine. Then I went home, my roommate and I cleaned the place, so I did vacuuming and dusting. She did like scrubbing the floors and cleaning the kitchen and then I just went and bought groceries hopefully I don't have to do that like super soon again but yeah and I'm gonna go home cook have dinner and hopefully relax for a bit good evening it is about 10 p.m. and I am officially exhausted this med school week was very packed and today was especially dense so I am going to head to bed and just sort of push all of my to-do list to tomorrow, hopefully wake up at a decent time. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I can't wait to share more. This was my first week and there are many more weeks to come, each of which I hope to be vlogging, so please subscribe and hit the bell button icon so you don't miss any of those videos and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you in the next vlog.